<sighs> Hello? Hello? Joe, are you alive? Uh, what? Uh, so oh, sorry. What were you thinking about? Oh, well, I was just thinking about heaven and just how exciting it's going to be. It's going to be so cool. Oh, I've seen it before. You have? Yes. It's an island off the coast of Fiji. I was lost at sea and stumbled upon it. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heaven is not an island off the coast of Fiji. It's not? No, not at all. Joe, tell him all about it. I think you're doing a pretty good job. You got this. Uh, okay. Um, heaven is a place where we're going to spend eternity with God after we die. Oh, uh, okay. Then how do you explain how I felt when I was there? I'm sorry, what now? It was this beautiful, untouched jungle. And it just made me feel like I was able to be alone. Like this was what life was meant to be like. I find myself longing to be in a place like that all the time. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one. Joe, I'm going to need to phone a friend. Who do you need to call? Uh, you. Help me out here. Blackbeard, I know exactly what you mean, and I know how that place made you feel. You do? Yeah. The Israelites felt the same way, too, about the tabernacle and the temple. The tabernacle? Who's a whaty? <laughs> the tabernacle and the temple. You see, when the Israelites, they when they were following Moses to the promised land, they set up a special tent called the tabernacle. It was a place where the very presence of God was. Then, when King Solomon came around, they built a giant building, which was a temple. And there, the presence of God was also. And it was a place called the Holy of Holies. Yeah, but what does that have to do with an island off the coast of Fiji? Don't worry, I'm getting there. You see, when Jesus came and died, he made it so that the very presence of God wasn't just in one place, but within us. Having the Holy Spirit is incredible and is our connection to God the Father. But even though we have something like that, we long for the day when heaven and earth are restored and there are no barriers between us and God. We desire the redemption of creation. We long for the relationship that Adam and Eve had with God when they were in the Garden of Eden. So that longing you feel is the relationship with God that is going to be fulfilled. Oh man, that makes so much sense. So the tabernacle and the temple were places that represented God. And as the place got bigger, the symbol of God in their lives got bigger. But it's all building up to till God is at its fullest in our lives. Exactly. You got that from that? Wow. Either you two are the same person, or I have the attention span of a goldfish and can't keep up. Well, I think it might be a little bit of both. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Never mind. Well... That's all the time we got for this week. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye now.